my entry on the GMTK Game Jam 2020. Given the theme of out of control, I got right to work. After creating the project, an awesome idea popped into my head. What if you protect sheep from wolves? Nice. All right, enough of the chit chatter, it's time to get into the real game. So I first wanted to iron the gameplay out. So I made a little scene and started working on the AI. Since I wanted the AI to be smart, I actually had to think about it. <laughs> Imagine doing that. So I just yoinked the nav mesh on there, made some behavior trees, and it was working. Wait, and it was working. Aw, they're so cute. And if you want to know how I made the wolf, here's what I did. So in order to think, the wolf needs a brain, right? So we give this guy a brain. But then, uh-oh, there's no what to do with this brain. So what we gotta do is just give him some behaviors. So what I do is put those on a tree and then stuff them in there. Seal that shut and we're done. While I was at it, I also made a placing system. And I made this by tracking the location of the cursor, doing a box chase. But Horox, the sheep looked like bull- STOP! Since I had most of the mechanics down, it was time to overhaul the characters. So I opened up Blender and started modeling my sheep. I think he turned out pretty cute. But uh oh, someone forgot the big bad wolf! So after taking a few years to sculpt that <laughs> wolf's mouth, I'm proud to show you this creation. Yeah. And after implementing these guys into the game, here's what it looks like. What are you doing? Go fast, he's gonna eat you. But the name of the game was Suspicious Sheep, and now it's time to make one of these guys suspicious. Which one of you is it? Hmm? Is it you, little sheep in the corner? Uh-oh. Good luck, guys. I'm just gonna go. With 12 hours left, it was time to get working on that user interface. So I just made some circular buttons to select your items, and then I added a retry button. Oh, and I almost forgot the menu. Look at that little guy. Isn't he so cute? Then I made a level select screen, but I realized I had no levels. So I got right to work smashing my keyboard, and I started designing these levels. After I got a few done, I wanted to work on the gameplay more, so I added a timer to add a little bit of tension to the game. Then I added some particles using Unreal's particle system. So now you can watch your sheep being eaten with style. So there were five hours left, and I thought it was a good idea to add a whole new set of features to the game. Yeah, I'm smart. You see how that cube name is on one of those circles? It's time to fill the rest of those up. And the circles on the side are just for selecting different items. So we have the standard wall, and we have have this blue thing. Yeah, I don't even know why it's in the game. The sheep sucker thing, because why not? And the irresistible piece of meat. There was one hour left, and time was zooming fast. And it was the perfect time for sound design, right? And after recording my professionally made sounds, I installed them into the game. And after fixing some terrible bugs, I submitted the game about 20 minutes before the deadline. Nice! Well, that was fun. Thanks to everyone who commented and rated my game. I'll be sure to use some of your ideas in the mobile version of the game. Thank you everyone for watching, and be sure to comment and like if you enjoyed the video. And remember to Keep those sheep safe. Bye.